Well, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back, you guys. Welcome to some purchase or pass action. All aboard, toot toot, beep beep. Okay, I will be your conductor. My name is Paige. Welcome to Seeking Alexandria. And in today's video, we are gonna sit down, talk about new makeup launches, and uh, you know, maybe roast the shitty ones, okay? I'm not gonna say that we uh, don't, because we do. But uh, we're gonna sit down today. We're gonna talk about these new launches. I'm gonna tell you if I like them, if I don't, if I plan on picking them up, reviewing them, yada, yada, yada. You guys know the drill if you've been here for a hot minute. But before I get going too far into the video, I do wanna put it out there. If you're new and you haven't done so yet, please make sure that you subscribe before you leave because I put up three new videos a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, typically right around like 7, 7.30-ish a.m. my time here in good old northern Michigan. So you got some bright early morning uploads three days a week. And then if you want to get to see me every single day, okay, like I'm talking damn near every single day, okay, I live my life over on Instagram in the Insta stories on the feed. I post a ton of content over there, everything from uh, plus size fashion, styling, OOTDs, makeup reels, testing new makeup, unboxings, literally everything you can do. Even like going for a ride, going shopping, bitch, I'm going to get a Diet Coke. I like to bring you with me. Like this is a relationship and it all happens over on Instagram, which by the way, I'm trying to hit 10K over on Instagram. If, if by some miracle you didn't know, as I literally scream it to every corner of the universe, um, I would really, really appreciate it though. If you haven't done so yet, if you'd go follow me there, everything will be linked down below. And uh, like I said, there's always content. There's always stuff going on and it's just a really fun place to be. For me, it's like the behind the scenes, it's the community, and it's where I get to get goofy. Like, when you see me, it's where I get to get goofy? What, what, what is this page, 1992? Uh, but it's where I get to hang out with you guys. Like, how I am right now in this video, that, but even more, like, weird and off the wall, is my Instagram. So if you like, you know, kind of off the wall, kind of odd page, you'll really like my Instagram. So check that out. Again, everything will be linked down below. And, uh, oh, also, too, if you like what I got going on here, which, okay, if you like this face, I just got done filming my review and all the eye looks. Um, whoops. So I don't know what that was, but I just got done filming this little uh, review right here, the Circle Loco palette from Natasha Denona, and we go through four different eye looks, all my thoughts and opinions, you know, swatches, all the good things, is it worth it, is it not, yada yada. Um, so if you want to see that, you can check it out, that's where the eye look is from, and then the rest of the makeup I actually did off of camera, but I'll have everything I use nonetheless linked down below, if and you're curious, which by the way, we both know you're looking at my lips, okay, because this combo is so good. I'm wearing the Mented Lip Liner along with, I think it's in the shade Dope, I'll make, I'll have it linked down below specifically, but I'm wearing that with the Faded Clementine uh, Lip Cushion from M Cosmetics, and oh my god, like, what a versatile-ass product. We're not here to talk about this, but fucking versatile, y'all. Versatile. Name of my game. All right, you guys, so now that that's all said, done, and out of the way, let's lead into my first thought, because I, I've got several thoughts, okay? I haven't done one of these videos in a while, and I'm just starting off here, because I was gonna go all the way back, but I think maybe I'll stay, like, moderately close to the beginning. Oh, here's one. Okay, this is, this is a good, like, half and half. So, NARS, they are launching, or they did launch, rather, to Nordstrom, their summer collection, and in this collection, it has a cute little eyeshadow palette. It's a little neutral situation there. It's their summer solstice eye eyeshadow palette for $49. They also have their summer solstice cheek duo for $45. Their bronzing cream coming in two shades for $38. And then their cream bronzer brush for $38. And this one for me is kind of like a half and half because I really, really want to test out and I actually probably will test out that cream bronzer because you guys know me. I'm just like a cream bronzer fiend. Like I just, I want to try them all because I love formulas and I just, I, there's something about a cream bronzer in the summer that just sends me to another dimension. With this one specifically, the reason that I grabbed it is because I want to ask you very specifically about the NARS brushes because I have tried, I love that I picked this and out of everything here, that's what I want to talk about, but I have tried NARS brushes now on two separate occasions and I just want to ask you guys, do you find that they are like really rough and like very scratchy or is that just a me thing? Because I tried, what was their most popular one? The one that's like, it comes to like a point, it looks like a, like a flower before it opens, like it has that perfectly dome shape to it. It. I tried that and then I tried another one from them like a face brush and I hated both of them like they actually made my face itch they were so prickly and I was looking at this one because I thought you know to go with the cream bronzer that would be a good thing to try but now that I thought about it and I remembered what I thought about the other brushes I don't want to try it because I don't I don't want to hate it and I just really I really just want to hear from you guys I guess what on the collection do you think are you intrigued by the cream bronzer uh, because I am and um, truthfully am I that interested in the other stuff and eh, like it's pretty and I don't hate it 
it by any means. Like, I, I think a glowy cheek and a neutral eye, like, that's, that's my, you know, safe zone. But I'm really only intrigued with the cream bronzer and trying to figure out if I like that damn brush. So, has anybody here ever tried their brushes, thoughts, opinions? Please leave them down below because I'm really just curious on if maybe, like, I happen to have two bad experiences or is that, like, just, just, like, what they're known for because I, I really don't know. Oh, oh my god, literally, did you see that little jump, bitch? I just caught air, okay? Let's talk about this. This is a new treatment balm by Laneige, and y'all, here's the thing, okay? Here's, let me just, uh, let me just talk about it. Shh, I'm very busy. Um, Laneige, okay? Laneige, I just need to put this down because I'm about to throw my phone. I use my little Laneige sleeping balm masky situation, okay? I use that, like, literally every single day. That product for me is so good. Now, I will admit, because a lot of people have talked about, is it the most, like, deeply hydrating, the most insanely, oh my god, my lips rejuvenated? No, okay? It's, it's definitely not, like, the most, like, chapsticky repair type thing I've ever tried. But that product is the most glossy, glazy, soft, cushiony, pillowy situation. And when I put it on my lips, I can put it on before bed. I can put it on during the day at work. I can put it on over a lip liner if it's like winter and my my lips are all like dry and I want hydration, but I want them to look glossy. I use this. Like it is such a multifaceted product for me and I am freaking obsessed. By the way, I'm going to link that down below. Okay. The one I'm talking about, oh, the original, I'm linking it. I am linking it and it's good. And I'm just, I don't know why I got so violent, but I want you to know it's going to be linked. But anyways, this is their new, this is what we're talking about. This is their new, uh, lip treatment here and it's called, it's $25 and it says that this is a pearlescent daily lip treatment that coats your lips in nourishing hydration, visibly smooths lip wrinkles, which bitch, I got these. <laughs> I got lots of lip wrinkles for days, probably because I do this for fun and, and then it just sticks after 31 years. Uh, but it also boosts the look of lip fullness also have little teeny lips, okay? Like, you wouldn't, I kind of try to line them and make them look fancy, but bitch, I got these little ass lips. They're very thin. Um, so that's good. And then it also says it is pina colada scented, because I like pina coladas and getting lost in the rain. That's the wrong, that's the wrong verse, okay? Don't talk about it. It is a treatment formulated with coconut oil to deeply moisturize and peptide and adeni, adeni, uh, da, 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 da. Hello, is this thing on? Is that, my CD's skipping. Uh, adenosine, there we go, to help visibly smooth and firm your lip wrinkles, delivers a cooling sensation and helps your lips look fuller. Plus, the applicator is stored in the lid for cleaner use. Okay, so a couple of things I have to say about this whole applicator situation, and I'm really hoping that there's not a bunch of young people here, because I'm gonna put pictures on the screen of this, and I'm just, I'm just gonna ask your opinion on what it looks like to you, because I'm, I, I, you know, I, you know, okay? So, I'm just gonna put this picture here. <laughs> And I just, I just think all I'm going to say dirty. Okay. That's all I'm going to say. It's just, that's what she said. Okay. Cause I, I got nothing else. Um, so that's number one. Also number two, going back to a regular photo here. Um, and number two, I have like a little bit of a thing with this because I think, yes, it is convenient to store it in like inside the lid like that. And I think it's an ingenious idea, but then I have to wonder like, how the hell am I cleaning in there? Like if I take this out and I go like this and I put it back, didn't, aren't, am I just like storing day after day after day, all the germs that are here, I'm storing them in this little hole and then I'm putting them back on like 30 days later I'm putting on germs from a month ago I don't know there's just there's something like ingenious about it but I don't know if you can clean it and like I, I'm I'm a Libra these are the things we think about like can I clean it I need to know I need to know I don't like germs okay I've always been like the germ police okay I've just I'm known for it and I don't know how I feel about this but it does look really pretty like really pretty shiny I, I'm gonna have to try it March 23rd March 23rd okay it's not here by the actually by the time of this video is it gonna be live? Actually, yeah, by the time of this video, I actually think this will be live. So I'll link it down below. Oh my God, you guys, I'm gonna link it down below because I, well, I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it. Like, that's just where we're at. Um, So we'll see, okay? I wanna know, Are you guys gonna try it? Do you like it? Because I'm excited. All right, so here's another one, that packaging. Oh my God, the packaging is stunning, okay? This is new from Dominique Cosmetics and this is their new, the Now or Never, there we go, Now or Never collection. And it has a little six pan eyeshadow palette and two glosses and the glosses, I would absolutely try because truthfully, I don't remember that formula. And I feel like I had something in that. Like I, I think I had one of those glosses and maybe someone came in here and took it. Like they just, they just five finger discounted it like a niece or somebody. So uh, I'm not, I, that one I would try. Like I'm, I'm less on the fence about that. But the, um, the eyeshadow palette for me, I, at first I almost picked it up like instantaneously. Cause I thought the packaging 
was so freaking cute. And then upon further inspection, I decided actually not to get the eyeshadow palette because the uh, the shades in there are just really not my thing. Like I love a couple of them and I think they're super beautiful, but I know in the end that red shade, uh, powerful bitch, that one I would more than likely never use because I don't use reds. Um, fun story, if I use a red on my eyes, I end up looking like the most bloodshot. Like I'm talking, I am high, hungover, I'm cocained out, okay? If I put red on my eyes, it's, ooh, it's a whole situation. So for me, the eyeshadow palette is like a definite no because I just, I know I wouldn't use it. But the glosses, I'm curious if any of you out there have used their glosses. I love, I love that every single thing I ask you guys, like, so what do you think? Have you tried it? Because I, I always want your guys' opinion. Uh, but I, yeah, for me, that's kind of what it boils down to is I, I would try the glosses because I really like the colors. They're very springy. But uh, I don't know, well, I know I wouldn't use the eyeshadow palette, but I don't know if I like the gloss formula. And then I'm also spoiled because, you know, Fenty, Lunar Beauty, like I've tried so many other awesome glosses that I'm just like, ah, oh, oh, okay, okay, here's one. Whoo, you guys, this is from, who is this from? <laughs> me, me too excited. Um, what is this? Give me glow cosmetics, it looks like. Yes, give me, you know, you ever get so excited that like you just can't read, like nothing, nothing registers? Um, well, this is from Give Me Glow Cosmetics and this is their Pastel Dreams palette. And you guys, these colors are gorgeous, okay? When, when I am going into spring personally, and if you've been here for literally the last two years, you know this, I go through such a transition from um, like regular neutral shadows over to these colors. Like I want everything bright and airy and poppy and all, all these fun pastel shades because they give you such a beautiful like light wispy wash of color. And like you kind of get the best of both worlds because you have eyeshadow, you have color, but at the same time, it's not too intense. So you can still wear, you know, anything. If you want CC cream, BB cream, you know, coverage all the way up to a fuller coverage, no matter what, like you can make these work and pastels are just so damn pretty. And oh my God, I need this. Hello? When is this happening? It is a mixture. Hold on. Everybody pause. Includes 12 shades, a mix of matte and shimmer shades, uh, and it's $54, 37 millimeter pans. They are an indie brand too, so keep that in mind, uh, but it retails for $54, and it is going to be available on their website in April, and oh my god, hook me up with a date, bitch, because I want it. I'm talking hook me up with a date, a corsage. We're going to prom. I want this palette. I want this palette. Okay, I want it. I want it. I want it. I want it. All right, so there's actually two new products from Dior. And uh, the first one is their face powder here. It looks like it is currently available at Sephora. This is their new backstage face and, fa face and body. Their face and body powder, no powder. It is $40. And it says here that it uh, blurs, what is this? Blurs imperfections, reduces shine, and visibly evens out the complexion for a luminous matte finish. This compact powder infused in a gel base. What? Compact powder infused, I love that I'm, I'm like trying to do it in my in my head, infused in a gel base, applies seamlessly on the skin for a natural non-powdery effect. Um, retailing, it looks like for $40, I think I said that. But this one for me, I absolutely will pick up at some point because I really, really love Dior's powders. And uh, the only reason I haven't picked it up yet, truthfully, is just because I've been working on so many other videos, using up other powders, and I've been testing a lot of other like foundation powders against each other. So I didn't pick it up just because I didn't need it quite yet, but I will test it out um, because if you've never tried, I'm actually wearing this today. I just grabbed it uh, from in front of me here. This is the Backstage Glow Face Palette. I use this all the time. I've talked about it for years, but this is one of the best highlight formulas I have ever, ever used. And uh, there's just something about the way that Dior, when they do powder, like, bitch, they do the damn thing. And uh, I'm definitely, definitely going to pick this up because this formula, amazing. Their other um, quad too, I'll link this down below and I'll link their other little uh, four pan face palette that has brown bronzers in it. I'll link that down there too. It's a really, really good bronzer if you want to check them out. But uh, I know if these are good, I'm sure this will be fantastic. Now, also from Dior, they recently released their Forever Natural Bronzer. And this, I believe, is currently only available in Europe because it's on Douglas, which you can't get that shipped here yet. It says that it has a soft and light texture. It blends perfectly with the skin for a natural and long-wearing result. Maintains the skin's natural hydration. It's enriched with 95% mineral pigments, and it melts perfectly into the skin to create a tanned, natural, healthy glow. And uh, that right there, it looks like also available in eight shades. And I, that just, it's me, okay? It's everything that I want. It's everything I need in a bronzer. Sign me up, bitch. And uh, as soon as it comes here, I'm, I'm on that shit. All right, so this one, th this one makes me a little bit mm, apprehensive, shall we say. This is uh, from Lime Crime. This is their new Golden Wet Cherry Lip Oil. And it retails for $16. It says, available now, by the way, it says that uh, this is the newest addition to 
their Wet Cherry family say hello to our Golden Wet Cherry Lip Oil. It is a hydrating lip oil packed with moisturizing, nourishing, and hydration boosting properties that pamper your pout. And uh, I'm just going to tell you right now, if you're new to me, if you don't know me, I am apprehensive because the other glosses, okay, the other, the other things in this Wet Cherry line, y'all, they smell like a urinal cake. And I'm not just talking like a regular urinal cake, okay? I'm talking like the biggest, most massive urinal cake to have ever urinal caked in its urinal caking life, okay? They smell, oh, they smell so bad. And I know, and I know, okay, I know that some people love them, but if you have ever smelled the wet cherry glosses from Lime Crime, it is burned into my brain the way that they smell because I bought, okay, when they first launched, this was back, got how many years ago? What, three-ish years ago? I'm still bitter about it, okay? I went on the Lime Crime website as soon as they launched. I like overnighted them. Like I was gonna do a review. I was so pumped because again, my, my channel way back when was like every single day I was uploading a new review about something, new individual products, right? So I ordered this, <laughs> I ordered this fucking group of glosses. I bought like six of them, okay? Six of them. And I order them, I get them here, I open them up and I am so excited because the pictures on mine are beautiful and glossy and rich and just, oh, like they're giving it to me. They are serving me shit and I am buying it. And I get them here, I open the tube and y'all, about knocked me back on my damn ass. <laughs> These things smelled so bad. Like I was like, Ugh! I was I repelled, repelled the box. And I thought to myself, hold on, hold on. Maybe it's just the one. Like may maybe, maybe this is just one that stinks or maybe, maybe they all smell like different intensity of cherries. Like, you know, may maybe the, the lighter ones smell less, the, the darker ones smell more. Like I'm, I'm literally coming up with any rationale in my brain because I was gonna vomit. So I open up the next one, stank. Next one, stunk, stink, stink, stunk, okay, all of them, all the way down to the Grinch's lair, okay, they all smelled so bad. And guys, to this day, okay, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna put a bow on it by saying, to this day, I can't look at a Lime Crime anything without seeing a urinal. Like, I just see urinal, Lime Crime urinal. Like, they don't even make makeup anymore. To me, they make urinals, urinal cakes, the urinal cakes that go in the urinals, and that's just, it is what it is. Like, that that's all they do for me, and um, I'm, I'm still a little bit bitter. And all of this to be said, guys, I will not be picking this up. I was apprehensive, but now now I'm not even apprehensive. I'm just straight up no, because I can't, I, I mentally can't do this again, okay? I'm still on this hamster wheel from years ago, and I know if I open this up, it's gonna smell like, you know, urinal cake's little brother shit cake, and I just, I can't, I can't handle a shit cherry cake. It's just, it's beyond me, so I can't do it. No. Pass the pass. Oh, oh, you guys. Oh man, I got the hop going. Do you see that? that? That's excitement right there, my friends. The, uh, the Melt Blush and Bronzers, these are their new cream blush lights. There we go. And, uh, guys, I think these are absolutely freaking stunning. It says here, gives your cheeks a natural glowing flush and an assortment of natural and pearl textures. The buttery cream, oh my God, just reading this, I'm just like, uh -huh, like I just want to slather it on my face. Um, a natural, okay, textures, a buttery cream formula melts into the skin, providing a smooth, radiant finish. It is a multi-use cream blush light that can be applied to the cheeks and the lips. $22 each, $155 for the full collection. And y'all, the shades in here, like, oh my God. Okay, if you know me, if you've watched my channel for any longer than this video, you know I have an obsession, obsession, okay, um, with coral, coral blushes. Like coral, my heart sings to the coral, ah, you know, in The Little Mermaid where she's like, ah, that's me with coral blushes. Ah, like I just, I need them in my heart and soul. And I, every single time, cause I've looked at this, I have went back and drooled at this photo a hundred times because I want them all. Okay. I just, I want them all to like levitate in my way. But here's the problem. Okay. Herein lies the situation because I want the cream versions because, oh my God, they're so creamy, so beautiful, so juicy. And I want them. But I also, why do I sound like Kathleen Lights? Anytime I talk about something being hydrating, I immediately turn into Kathleen Lights. Kathleen, I'm so sorry. You'll never see this. So the apology is moot, but it's still there for me. Okay. Me to you. I'm sorry. But anyways, every time I see these, okay, I see the cream ones and I'm like, oh my God, I feel some kind of way, right? I get excited. I feel that tingle. I'm like, yes, please. Well, then I start thinking about it and I'm like, oh my God, what about the powder version? Okay. I'm like someone that sets her face. I should be looking at the powders. So then I look at the powders and the powders are just as beautiful. So now I want the creams and the powders. And now what do I do? Okay. Therein lies the conundrum. Do I, do I buy both? <gasps> Ooh, do I buy like, ooh, what if I bought the corresponding shades? I just, I got so excited. I literally couldn't speak a word. What if I bought the cream one and then the, the powder one together. Like I bought them, you know what I'm saying? And then I could like layer it and I would have the most corally flushed cheeks. 
Oh my God, and they'd be so, so what is this? What am I trying to say? They'd be so lifted, so illuminated, me. <laughs> Whatever that word is, that's what they'd look like. So what category do you put it in if it's like like a heavenly being? I look like I'm grabbing somebody's behalls. And that's, that's really not what I was going for. I'm like, <laughs> but what what category do these go in? Like, do they, do they go in the covet category? Do they go in the, because huh? I don't think that there's a name for that. But like, that's where they are for me. So they're definitely, okay, layman's terms. I guess if I have to bring them down to earth level, um, which by by the way, if you've tried these and you can like tell me, Paige, they're not good. You don't need them. Please feel free to leave that in the comments. You know, I'll put my heart at ease a little because right now I feel like I'm missing something. Like I feel like every day that I don't have them is a day that my soul hurts. Um, so if you have anything to say, drop it in the comments. But this freaking blush. It looks so gorgeous. So it's definitely a purchase at some point. And it, truthfully, I don't even know why I didn't purchase it. Why? There was something else that I bought instead of these. But uh, moral of the story, gorgeous. All right. So also speaking of gorgeous ass blushes, you guys know I got a thing for bronzers, blushes. Like just, I just, oh, I love them so much. Like the texture, the refinement. Oh my God. It just makes me feel things. It makes me feel all the things. Okay. And this is new or going to be new rather from Bare Minerals, their new Gen Nude Bronzer Blush and Bronzer. Bron Bronzer, blush, and bronzer. Okay, uh, $24. It is a two-in-one blush and bronzer hybrid that combines the rosiness of a blush <laughs> with the warmth of a bronzer. This silky formula comes in three buildable radiant shades that flatter all skin tones. Now, really quick, I just want to pause because I, I, I want to throw this out there. I think this is one of the most um, innovative, not, not innovative, this is one of the most on-trend things that I think I have seen come out. Like, as far as the thought behind it coming out with a product that is a hybrid of bronzer and blush because right now, first of all, this is a huge trend already. People wanting to, you know, replace their bronzer, just use blush. Hell, I just saw um, Rocio. If you don't follow her, her Instagram, you guys, she is freaking so unbelievably talented. And she was just talking about on Instagram how she actually hasn't been bronzing at all lately. She's only been using blush because she loves the look and the flush and just the way that it brightens up her face. And uh, so she's only been using blush as it is. I think that it just goes so much farther than this just being like an on-trend. It looks good thing. I really feel like we are having such a shift in makeup um, between like even three, four years ago and now where, you know, it used to be everything was so structured and so full coverage and just like, you know, side parts and skinny jeans, like everything has its trend and its time. And as the times change, everything looks so different. Well, right now people are really, really transitioning over into like CC creams, BB creams, lighter coverage, you know, lighter, fluffier brows. Brows was a huge one too lately. And I feel like with this particularly, a lot of people are just wanting to cut out, you know, like steps out of their routine, like anything that they can do to do it faster, they want to. And so seeing this, when I first read it, I was like, what a good idea. Like fusing that in, it's like literally combining the direction people are going with their makeup anyways, like wanting, you know, more simple, less steps, but they're also putting it in, like it's on trend, it's what people are doing. And not only that, but it's gonna give you a much more like glowy lifted complexion. So it's actually gonna be like more suited for the BB cream, CC cream, thing if you leave it like nice and a natural flush. But I really just feel like I can see this working out so well for, for so many people. Okay, calm down, Zoolander. Uh, but I can just see this really working, like the com combining the different, you know, undertones, having the warmth, having the blush, giving that lift and that glow. And I just, I, for me, there was just something about this. You know how some things strike you and when they do, they do? Uh, this one was that for me. Like it did and it did real good. Obviously, I'm really excited to test that out. Okay, I think that that should go without saying at this point. But I'm also excited to test out their min mineralist lip gloss balm. Okay, a lip gloss balm retailing for 20 bucks. And it says here, that this is sheer color and a glossy shine made with naturally derived fruit oils to provide a glossy shine with the hydrating feel of a balm. It is a non-sticky formula. Cap and vial are made with post-consumer recycled plastic. Comes in 10 shades, again, for $20. And guys, again, with the freaking on trend, like whoever, what is going on at Bare Minerals? I feel like for so long, nobody talked about them. And now all of a sudden, it's just like, holy shit. And again, maybe this is just a me thing because I'm looking at it from like a marketing perspective and kind of looking at it like with the trends, but I really feel like both of these launches are so on point. This to me, what I just saw, if the formula is good, if the undertones are, um, you know, warm enough, and if this really pulls off and looks as good as I'm envisioning it to, I really feel like this could be a standout product for them, and I'm, I'm really excited. All right, you guys, so now at this point, it is officially your turn. I want everyone to sound off down below. What do you think? Whether it is your thoughts on, you know, the stuff we talked about, or maybe it's stuff I mentioned that you've already tried or you've already, you know, swatched 
watched, had some opinions on, whatever it is, make sure that you leave it all down below because I want to hear from you, okay? I want to hear all of your thoughts. And also, like I said at the start of the video, don't forget you can subscribe, turn on your post notifications, follow me on Instagram, which I would really, really appreciate, okay? Especially that Instagram, which everything, of course, will be linked down below if you'd like to check me out on Instagram. Um, also down in the description box, I will have, like I said before, everything that I am wearing, all the makeup, the shirt, everything will be linked. So if you want to check that out and, and too, if there's any of these um, things I mentioned that have launched, I'll have those linked in the description box as well. Like if you saw something and you're like, ooh, I'm intrigued and you want to try it, I will make sure that I have it linked if and I can. Oh, and also too, by the way, down in the comments, you guys can let me know if you like these videos. Are they still your thing? Like, do, do you do you enjoy them? Because it's just kind of a hangout session where you hang out, you talk with a friend about makeup, but like I enjoy that. So I would think maybe you guys do. I don't know. Like I said, leave me your thoughts down below, but uh, you guys officially we are done. Okay. That is officially the end of this here purchaser pass video. Thank you all again so, so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I hope that you all have an amazing, amazing day, night, weekend, whatever it is when you're watching this and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. If I could get back all the time that I spend trying to get the cat hair off my nose that I can't see, I would get back years of my life. Like if you add it all up, years, people, years. You know, when that Diet Coke hits, man, it just gets you, it just gets you moving, it gets you grooving, and it only hits right. It never hits wrong. You never hit wrong.